Hi, my name is Omar and I'm talking about the Elvis movie that came out in 2022 and it's nominated to the Oscars Awards. So I actually pretty like it, the, the movie and the type of how the director approached to, to the story of this artist. It's like a different uh, point of view and actually it's very interesting to see how many people it's pretty using these type of methods to approach to the real life of the artist and also to take a look to all his life, right? Like don't uh, try to make it like a superhero or something like that to take the, the role to the audience, like saying, hey, it's one of us and it's some people are is using his talent to to start an, another I don't know a movie or song or something like that also uh, the type of how to express the 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 ultra hero of of North America of the rock and roll it's also pretty interesting right because it also take the uh, I can't remember the coronel's, uh, the coronel's uh, history and how he takes Elvis and he sell the idea of oh okay I'm gonna hit the top with you and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty like uh, I remember Pinocchio when he meet the fox and he start like oh we are gonna make millions and all that stuff, but actually in the real in the in the real life. Right to how Elvis uh, going uh, forward, the the coronel is pretty interesting, and how in, uh, including the family of Elvis, it's in the in the in the role, right? It's in the history, and how uh, the loss of his mother uh, entered to to her la to to his life, and yeah, actually, it's a pretty good movie. I think uh, at these visual effects and how the directors take the camera and take the uh, overcuts and some uh, scenes it's actually pretty interesting and pretty cool and i think that and the type of history and also the type of how to approach to the start to elvis it's why elvis is nominated to the oscars